So you're walking down the street and BAM! Impaled by a javelin out of nowhere. It's a clean shot, straight through the stomach. What do you do? You're panicked. This is your first time. Do you pull it out? No, of course not! Now you're bleeding out and it's over. Okay, attempt number two. Let's learn from our mistakes. First off, we should try to avoid getting stabbed, but let's say it's not possible. Ooh, a gut shot again. But now we're relaxed. It's nothing we haven't been through before. The javelin created the hole, but it also plugs it. So we're not bleeding. The ambulances are unavailable, so we're going to have to stitch it ourselves. The first one's easy. We can push with it. But the second one is going to be much harder. There's going to be some unavoidable leakage when I take out the weapon, but I'll try to minimize it. And that's not good. Okay. Like all surgeries, there's some amount of winging it. Vitals down to 15%, but we're good. We're staying calm. We got this. Yes. Let's go. Wow, this is big news coming out of the New York Times. Look at this. Trace amounts of ferrous sulfate, niacin, and thiamine mononitrate have been found in the COVID-19 vaccine. We don't know much about these chemicals, and if we don't know what we're putting into our bot... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. These are actually just ingredients in these flaming hot Cheetos. That's pretty interesting. Oh, wait, and then this whole New York Times article? Oh my gosh, yeah, it's faked by me and Inspect Element. Huh, well, I guess this is a good reminder to not believe everything you see on the internet. Don't you hate it when you're trying to get ready for dinner but can't figure out how to cut your ice? You've literally tried everything in your cookbook, but you can't figure out how to get a clean cut. Well boy, do I have good news for you. All you have to do is grab some metal floss and attach it to some weights. I know for a fact it works with Coke, but Diet Coke might not weigh enough, so we'll see. This method should work because ice melts under pressure. But unfortunately, I don't think I had the right string thickness because after a few agonizing minutes, the block had melted down to a cube. And even when science came through and it finally started to cut, it would refreeze over and I was left with an ice necklace. I wanted to stick to this diet because eating ice literally burns calories, but I think it's going to be too hard. On the bright side, at least I got this cool slow-mo video as a consolation. What do you do when you're completely stranded and need to make a fire before nighttime? Well, I'm here to help. The first thing you want to do is use your nose to sniff out the 9 volts, which are typically found in the bark of trees. Next, depending on your area, some native animals will hide their pencils in the rocks. Make sure you dig them up. Lastly, you need to look for the fully blooming native match plant. As you see here, that one's not fully blooming, but yes, this one's perfect. Now that we have all three necessary items, we take the lead from the pencil to short the 9 volt. Shorting the 9 volt will send a lot of current through the lead. The graphite does have some resistance, so combined with current will produce some heat, and this heat is enough to light the map. Now we get to see another day, and we no longer need to ask the question. You've only got double A's native in your area? Don't worry, I got you covered too. They're invasive here in California, so unfortunately they're not too hard to find. See, here they are right by the bark, just like I said last time. Next, I'll use echolocation to find some gum plants. Ah yes, this will do just fine. We'll only need the skin for our purposes, but this one's definitely ripe. The outer coating is metallic, so it can conduct electricity. I'll tear off both sides to increase the resistance towards the center. The point of highest resistance creates the most heat, and here we can start our fire to save our life. Triple A's too? You guys are killing me. I got you covered, though. First up, we need to find the stainless steel spider's home. I hate to disrupt such a good catch you had here, but you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. I've been farming these screws, they're root plants for a while now. And luckily I found one more of these holder berries before the squirrels got to them. I climbed this tree to grab a medium sized stick. Lastly, triple A's aren't native in my area, so I'm going to use the invasive double A's. I promise, however, that if you just replace triple A's for these double A's, it would work just as well in your area. Anyway, I attach the screws to the medium sized stick, wrap the 30 gauge stainless steel spider web around it, add your batteries to the holder. The wire is so thin it has a large resistance, so when you turn on the battery, it can get hot. You can see it changing colors here. When I put a dry leaf near it, it smolders and you can start to cut through it, but it wasn't quite burning. I think if I held it there long enough, it might have, but I also just decided to resort back to the old match plants in my area. They work great. I've always had trouble putting marshmallows in my hot cocoa and end up burning my hand. So I created a solution. Unfortunately, there was one obvious problem with it. I didn't want to add just one marshmallow. So I decided to add a small barrel and now it works great. When you add water to a colorful arrangement of Skittles, you can make the food coloring diffuse to the middle. This is a pretty satisfying video as you get to watch the colors move. And the best part about this is that you can actually use it to tie-dye your socks. As you can see here, it works really well. You guys are clearly lost, so let me simplify. So first we have whole milk, which is 3.5% milk fat. Then we have 2%, which is 57% of the original amount of fat as whole milk. Then you can also get 2% reduced, which is reduced off the original 3.5% to get 1.5% milk, which is 43% of the original milk fat of whole milk. 1%, however, corresponds to 28.5% fat. Of course, this is still relative to whole. Lastly, there's fat-free milk, which is defined as less than 0.1% milk, meaning it's 2.8% relative to whole. Hope this helps. A wise person once said, when life gives you lemons,
get your knife and put it inside an induction heater and then use that hot knife to cut through the lemon and it's pretty cool when you do this so there you have it that's how you cook a lemon the Eiffel Tower is a perfect example of thermal expansion. The tower's height increases by around 6 inches from the coldest to the hottest day of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Place your bets, pause to think, and lock in your answers, and they're off. The ice cube gets off to the early lead. That's probably because of the water vapor condensing and freezing on the dry ice, which is insulating it a little bit. The ice cube's playing a little dirty. Almost a lane violation there, but the refs are letting them melt on. What's that? Oh, I'm getting breaking news. Word on the ground from Team Dry Ice is that he's going to plan to make a push at the very end, and here he goes. Let's see if he can do it, and he does. Winner, Dry Ice. I've got enough faith in science to bet my whole Doritos on this TikTok trend. This is going to be embarrassing if it doesn't work. Stay focused. Trust the process. Flawless. Oh no. Am I messing it up? Please work. It's showtime. That's what I'm Let's talking go. about. I'll blame that on the carbonation. I knew I could trust science. No need to pop a chalky milk. I bought this online for $50, and the cool thing about it is that it only has one side. One-sided paper? Sounds like a sham, right? I mean, it sure looks like there's two sides shown here. But look, if I draw with a pen, I can go all the way around. Excuse my poor artistry skills, I barely passed kindergarten. But without lifting my pen, I can get back to the start. This is called a Mobius strip, and if you're on a tight budget and want to make it at home, just get a strip of boring old two-sided paper and give it a half rotation. See, now the blue side and the red side are on the same surface. Are you desperate to find a way to make paper clips float on water, but every time you try, it simply sinks to the bottom? You're not using the right technique. While it's true that paper clips are more dense than water and will naturally sink to the bottom, you can use surface tension to your advantage by slowly dipping your fingers in and gently releasing the paper clip at the surface. Here's three things other than Worcestershire sauce that you probably mispronounce. A lot of people think this one's pronounced gnocchi, but it's actually gnocchi. Quite a few people think this one's pronounced milk, but it's actually just milk. Lastly, a lot of people think this is mechanical engineering, but it's actually pronounced the best major. Yo guys, check this out. It legit says gullible on the ceiling. Now I'm being completely serious here. Let me just find it real quick and get it into the camera's focus. Just a sec here, wait. Oh yep, there it is. Let me let me zoom in real quick. Haha, <laughs> you probably thought I was lying. Who's global now? These clouds may look light, but they actually weigh... Excuse me. <clears throat> As I was saying, these clouds look light, but they actually... Could you please... These cl They're actually really heavy. They weigh millions of pounds, okay?